Hello. In addition to the clip uh, from importing data in a really straightforward setting, let's look at an extreme example to illustrate a couple of the problems that come along with importing it to Excel. Now, in this case, um, there would be nothing that is wrong with Excel or nothing that is wrong with our settings. It's just how the source file is formatted that's causing the problem. But that might help you understand a few problems if you run into them. So in an extreme example, that's the um, output from Sketch Engine, where you see that the information is not tab separated, but where you see commas that separates um, a hit number from the file number from some genre information. So that is a comma separated file. It's also very common in working with uh, data files. But crucially, there's no tab that separates the um, meta information from the actual corpus information. So your query hit, your left and right context and so on. So let's see how that imports into Excel. Let's uh, hit the import function, um, select CSV or text file. It actually doesn't make much of a difference. Import, select the problematic file and then select delimited to specify the delimiter. And now we don't have a tab, so that has nothing, um, nothing shows up in the preview, but we have the comma. So we select a comma and unselect the tab just for good practice and then unselect the text qualifier to get into a habit. Next, finish, okay. So I'll make this a slightly smaller here just so that we can see what's going on. Uh, don't worry about the first four rows. We'll talk about that in a different clip. So what you see for the meta information, query head, file number, genre, subgenre, and so on. And then comes our corpus data. So at first glance, it looks fine. But if you scroll across, you realize there's a lot of weird things going on. So it's not just the left and right context in different columns. It seems that um, this is all over the place. Uh, so there's sometimes there's text in this column and then the text just weirdly uh, begins in the in the other column as well. So if we zoom out a bit, um, what we see is that um, this is all our corpus data um, and it's sort of spread across all sorts of columns. So that's obviously one of the problems that you can um, uh, come into uh, contact with. Now what happens, um, we can look at the third hit in education and then go back to our source file just to see if we can identify the problem. Third hit. And there we see what the problem is after in education there is a comma. And because the comma was set as a field delimiter, Excel will now split at each and every comma in the text as well as in the meta information that comes from the corpus. So that is behavior that Excel does exactly as it was told but where the source file doesn't neatly distinguish between what's a field limitation or field delimiter, in this case, the comma and the comma that it comes in a text. For future reference, that's also where the text qualifier may come into play, although that's more relevant for um, other CSV files that contain uh, data. So we'll talk about that in due time. So sometimes there's very little that you can do if the source file is contains an error or is differently formatted to, to uh, from what Excel would expect it to be. And uh, you may have to be a bit creative and sort of work around a bit. So that gets that's where it gets uh, a little messy sometimes. And one option would be uh, to use the pipe here that you see that separates the corpus meta information from the query matches. So if you were to use that in um, Excel, it's not ideal, but it's um, better than uh, nothing, you could say. So text file, import the problematic file, and then as a delimiter set, uh, undo the tab, select other, and insert the pipe. Undo the text qualifier because it's not relevant in this set, and finish, okay. So at least what happened now is that you have the corpus meta information in this column, it's not neatly separated yet and your corpus data in this column and if we zoom out um, then 
Uh, we get the uh, text running across different uh, columns, but uh, it's it's all in the same column. So if you were to go into the C columns, you see that they're all empty and all the text is actually in uh, the B column. So that would be a workaround. Again, still not ideal, but at least it wouldn't be all over the place. We will have uh, separate clips on what you could potentially do with this kind of data and still get it separated and use it in your analysis. That's it. Bye.